Welcome to the CenturyLink Scouting Report. I'm Ross Fletcher bringing you a lowdown on Vancouver Whitecaps, the next opposition for the Sounders as Seattle look to retain the Cascadia Cup. Who remembers those great scenes at Empire Field last season when the Sounders pipped both Portland Timbers and Vancouver to the title, actually winning it with ease. So Vancouver Whitecaps, it's the first MLS match between the sides at BC Place. A lot has changed in this Vancouver side. Now they are coming off their heaviest defeat of the season so far, 4-1 at New England. But don't be fooled by that because Martin Rennie kept back two of their big central defenders and rested some other key members in that game because he was all about this week's Canadian Championship match which Vancouver are putting a lot of store in. They, like the Sounders, have had eight very big games to deal with in May. But when we talk about Vancouver's improvement, just listen to this. Coach Martin Rennie is in there new. The young Scott coming off a regular season winning campaign with Carolina Railhawks in the NASL. He very quickly has got Vancouver on the front foot. Last season, as an expansion side, they won just six games in the whole of the campaign. Already in their first ten, They've won five matches. And just like Seattle Sounders, they've kept six clean sheets. They are very, very stingy at the back. Now, if selected, here are three of their players to watch. Eric Hasley, the brooding, bruising French striker, has come back into form. Having not scored since last August, he's picked up two goals in his last two games. At six feet four, he's a dominant presence in the air. And as we saw at Century Link Field last season, he can really score some beauties. Sebastian Latou, a Seattle fan favourite from his time with the USL Sounders and the club's first MLS season. The Frenchman has slotted into an attacking position on the right-hand side of late. His iron lungs mean he can shift for the whole 90 minutes. With three goals already in 2012, no wonder the Philadelphia fans are wondering why their club traded him in the off-season. Jay Demerit, the captain and emotional leader of the Whitecaps. The US national team regular drives the team forward from centre-half and he's been an integral part of the back four which has already kept those six clean sheets. So while Vancouver have really been shutting things down at the back, they've also been pretty dynamic up front. What I want to show you now is an indication of how well they work through midfield and up to the top, particularly focusing on Davide Cumiento, their Swiss midfielder, who is a real playmaker, Sebastian Latou and Eric Hasley. The first clip we're going to show you is from last weekend's game against New England very early on, and this shows the value of a connection between the two Europeans, Cumiento and Hasley. If we take a look, Davide Cumiento will pick the ball up in a midfield position. Now, as the ball goes long, Hasley knocks it off. Cumiento there, as we stop the play, picks up that ball. He's intuitively reading where Hasley is going to play it. Look now at the run of Sebastian Latou. Arcing run towards the edge of the area, Cumiento buys himself some space and as we play it on here, you can see a perfectly weighted pass to Latou. And now as Latou gets on the ball, Hasley comes across, makes the play and a simple looking goal from Vancouver Whitecaps. So we take a look again, Hasley into Cumiento, finds half a yard of space, brilliantly judged pass to Latou. If we stop it here, you can see Hasley is coming from the top of your screen, from the far post. He's making a perfectly angled run to the near post. No defender can deal with that when Whitecaps are playing at such pace. If we play it on here, in comes Hasley, gets the chance for the shot and through the keeper and Vancouver say thank you very much. Just great flowing attacking football from Vancouver Whitecaps. We've seen the Cumiento and Hasley link up before. Let's spin it back to a huge win recently over San Jose. And the final moments of this game, again, on the left-hand side, Cumiento picks up, finds that half a yard of space, will stop it again once more. He's got a run coming from outside the screen from Hasley. As we go again, it needs a perfect piercing pass. There is Hasley, and that is an unerring finish, which no keeper will stop. This again is all about the understanding with Kumiento and Hasley. We'll stop it here as the pass is about to be made. See here, Hasley off the shoulder of the last defender and sees too that the right back is giving him a yard of space. Perfectly timed run, 
perfectly judged pass, play it on here, Hasley finds that room in behind and a striker of his quality makes teams pay. John Bush easily beaten. So another indication of that fluidity, that understanding, that layer of building and building that Vancouver have done in the off-season and it's really paying off. Once more, Eric Hasley, Davide Cumiento and Sebastian Latou, a terrific triumvirate in action on the opening day of the season against Montreal. This is the second goal against Montreal. Start it with Latou here. Now watch Hasley come towards the ball with Cumiento laying just off him. Again, the understanding is terrific. Hasley knows exactly where Cumiento is. A quick slipped pass into Camilo and Camilo the Brazilian does the rest. It again just shows Everybody on that Vancouver Whitecaps team is on the same page. Seattle have got to stop the flow. Latou to Hasley, into Cumiento, back outside again to Latou. They work so well as a threesome. Latou, Hasley, Cumiento once more. Simple, elegant pass. Camilo on the end to get Vancouver running in the very first game of the season. They have much, much improved from the last campaign. Hopefully those three clips will have shown you exactly how. Now, if you want to watch your Sounders FC at Vancouver Whitecaps, you can catch us 2 p.m. kickoff on Kong 616 this Saturday. Be with us for the pregame show from 1.30. You can also catch Casey Keller and myself on the call on 97.3 Cairo FM. So the Sounders going into Vancouver and the first Cascadia rivalry, mouth-watering rivalry of the season, 2-0-1, unbeaten on the road this season, looking to keep on rolling. That was your CenturyLink Scouting Report. I'm Ross Fletcher. We'll see you again on soundersfc.com. Give your full 90 with the Sounders FC mobile app featuring live audio, match day blog and much more to keep you connected. Download your app at soundersfc.com mobile.